guys, welcome back to It's Table. Hi. Episode 5. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to do it a third time. You third time is the charm. No, it's because you have impulse problems. You have to do things in threes, like OCD patients. Oh. I just, I just know you're like that. Period. I know my friends. Today I have my legs out. Tattoos. Oh, you feeling risky today, huh? Yeah. Warmer weather's coming out. Oh, a different side yeah. of Brie is coming out now. Oh, it's going to be different for sure. For sure, because winter, every winter, honestly, you do get the same way you get now. Like I this, know, like, I know. She goes into full hibernation mode. I was mode, just going to say hibernation. Like an animal, full hibernation mode to the point where it, it, does, it does take me in with her because it's like, I'm not going out by myself. But this when is it's New York, this warm is out, like, we She's outside. always out. But the thing is, that's when I hate being out because I get hot, Brie. I have to wear layers. And I I'm know, I know, I know. And she's like, oh my God, shorts. And I'm like, no. <laughs> Jeans, still. No, I can't wait to like put on um, my summer clothes. My summer clothes are basically my winter clothes, but less layers. Yeah, I was going to say a little bit different. You know, uh, not as thick. Not as bulky. Not, as, not the trench coat. <laughs> Thank God I get to put that away. I have not wanted to wear my coat out. It's I don't just, know why you got it if you don't no, no, like wearing it. I love it. my long. I love my long coat, but the thing is, it this winter, it, first of all, yes, it covers the whole fit, and it's like, what's the point of putting clothes on underneath? Why was I wearing? Because all you these? just wear it to travel, like it's no, but the like most places we don't we go, we're not like the whole thing is travel for us. <laughs> we're not going anywhere so it's like the people on the street are my audience they have to see the fit and no one's seeing it so how am i supposed to be discovered as the next model yeah well Brie. you get a trench coat that's like you know like how i have the cheetah one like that's the fit yeah but yeah but i don't have that and like i'm not gonna go get another one just to have more no, coats yeah, like i don't need one, i don't need any just... more coats i don't need any more no. coats Bree's leg, specifically, her tattoos that are on her leg, are all done by her oh, and yeah. me. I stick and poked. Uh, yeah. And I, I made, did one. And Daya put, <laughs> she put an H on my thigh. And the thing is, this last trip we were down in Florida, she decided to tell my mom, I was yeah, like, your you daughter branded this? me. <laughs> what the hell? Your daughter Don't... did this. And, I, and the thing is, the way my mother was looking at me, she was like, you did this. You did this to other people. Great. Great. Yeah. Didn't you use the word branded, Brie? That was a bit much. It's like when you brand someone like cattle. Like, you know, with the branding? Yeah. I That's just, I think, I is. think of like, like fruits at the grocery store and like, just like. Brands? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Labeled. You know no. what I mean? Like, you labeled me and like, you said, oh, no, no, this if is you mine. Said, chirk, chirk, like, no, no. at the cash register. I think in like, normal context, if someone said, oh, they've labeled me as this, but. They branded me. If someone, like, especially with a yeah, tattoo. Yeah, because I wasn't an Apple before until you, you know, put branded. You put your brands on me. But branded more means for, like, for you, you're making me sound really bad. Like, that's, like, really bad, though. Like, you're not getting how bad branding is. <laughs> like, when someone's branded like that. Yeah, it's bad. That's what yeah. you did. You just, <laughs> just tattooed, like, needle, needle, literally you needle. You said I could. Ink. She went so deep. She doesn't know. I didn't and know the what thing I is, doing. I didn't, I didn't know what say I was anything doing. the whole time. I just let her do it, and it's just like, exactly. How's that my fault? She wasn't. She wasn't being like, "Ow, Hidaya, you're going too deep." So I, how was I to know I was going too deep? If you're just sitting <laughs> there, I just didn't texting care. on her phone like I she's like dilly dallying, like nothing was really happening. Care, yeah. She wasn't even flinching. Yeah. So like, I thought I was fine, and I was just trying to get a nice dark color because her other ones are a little faded. Mine's the darkest one on her leg because I did a good job. No, it, 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 what is the <laughs> word for it when it's too deep? It's blown out. Blown out. It's blown out. It's a and blown also, out. like, what were you it's doing a... with the H's? I don't know. I don't know. I was trying to give it my own little, like, pizzazz. Pizza, my own little flair. Like, if I was an artist. Let me live. No, it's my body. I was living vicariously through you. That's fine. I have worse tattoos. Exactly. That's not even the worst of it. We used to be roommates with this girl that, like, did tattoos. And she did one on my arm that was nice. And then years later, I wanted another tattoo. And I got it matching with my little sister. Like, it was, like, two, like, cute little um, 
characters. I don't know. I remember this. I and this basically, it was horrible. Like, I passed out while she was giving it to me. I don't really look at it until, like, it's fully healed. Like, fully. Because, you know, it's healing process. You don't know how it's going to look like when it's healed. But the healing process, I had to go to City MD. I had no, to go I had to the pictures. emergency room. I was going through room. my photo gallery today, and I just saw the picture of me taking the morning we realized it was actually infected. I thought it was infected. It looked like it was infected. Basically, the doctors didn't say... They said it wasn't infected, and I'm fine. Because if it's infected, you have to take medication because it it could hurt your bloodstream. Like, but it, it was could, like a piece of it looked infected. Like, the whole thing was no, infected. No, no, no. What like, happened was she went too deep, and it, like, my skin was falling off. Like, it was rejecting it. It was rejecting the tattoo. So now I have scar tissue all over the tattoo, and, like, even looking at the tattoo that wasn't too deep, and that's probably why I passed out, too. The other parts of the tattoo, it looks like it's just bad. It's just not a good tattoo. The, I, it's a cute character. Like, the idea of it is cute, but it wasn't done cute, cutesy. Cute-y. It wasn't cute. And then, on top of it, I got another one from another friend. Passed out that time, too. I should you know that every stop time I pass your friends. out. Just stop doing friends. Stop doing friends, The thing is, that one friend, she just started, and she posted... Okay, I know, I know. See, you're hearing it. You're hearing it back. It doesn't sound great. It doesn't... No, 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 no. no. Not at all. And it was a group of us that got it, too. It was, like, these little Studio Ghibli characters from (laughs) Princess Monokey, I think. I don't know. (laughs) But it was, like, the little guys that live in the trees. If you know, you know. They were cute. Drawings. Not when she... I went first. Don't know why I went first. Really You're bad so idea. Brave. You're no, so brave. You're so brave. Passed out. I had to lay down. Well, I caught myself before I was passing. I was like, I need to lay down. I'm going to pass out because I know I've done this before. And, and they continued to tattoo you while you were passed out? Um, well, like, I was there, but I was laying down, so I was better. Like, I was just drinking water, laying down, and just, like, focusing on, like... It doesn't hurt me. Like, I love tattoos. I love getting tattoos. Like, it doesn't hurt. The one that I picked... I was like, oh, let's add something cute because, like, my, my one friend got one of the characters, but it was on a tree branch. So I was like, oh, like, what about, like, a little sun? And then she drew a little sun on a piece of paper. It looked cute. It looked cute. She had the sun shaded, and it was really nice. <sighs> They're drawing the sun. They start shading it. The shade is not shaded. It looks horrible. But no, you know what? It I have pictures bad. of when it was shaded, and... It's honestly better than what it is now because because the shading was bad. I was like, black it out. Let's do it all black. Sun. No, it's really it's really bad. It's really bad. It's one of your worst I'll tattoos. I'll pull up a picture. It's the worst thing. It's That's your worst tattoo. I that was this was the last and it's tattoo. It's a prime I got. spot. So like it's a prime great spot. spot. It's, a, it's great a great spot. spot. So, it's like- so what I'm planning is I'm gonna get a half sleeve. Like, when I get the money, that's the first thing I'm doing, bro. Like, like tattoo wise, like. I'm like my next tattoo. It has to be to cover that. Like I'm. I don't want to get another tattoo until that half sleeve is covered. But it's like it's so prominent. Like I don't know what to do. Like should I try getting it removed first and it's then tattoo mo- over it? It's in almost all your photos. That's the problem too. So it's, it's like it's like in, always it's there. Always it's always there in the photo. because it's like the no matter how you pose, no matter like how you pose, it doesn't I always matter. See it. It's it's there. <laughs> It's summertime. <laughs> it's going to be out. It's going to be. I, at this point, I've gotten used to it. But you know what's crazy, guys? Every time I have it showing, strangers always say, oh, my gosh, I love your tattoo. Is that Studio Ghibli? Like, is that Princess? Da, da, da. No, because I'm sure I'm people like, know what that is. Like, they recognize it. But I don't even think so. I think it's so bad that it doesn't even look like the character anymore. Like, I think it's so bad, but people like it. I've had people even swipe up and talk about it. I'm like, y'all weird i mean honestly at this point they're just want maybe they just want to talk to me maybe but that. like maybe that but also i think because you do have a few other like tattoos where it's like some po- like outline and then blackout that kind of it matches it like matches yeah. it just looks like your style yeah so it could like there's like oh yeah but it's just her style yeah. my Love favorite it. is the screaming one that the black hair like it's so good it is really good yeah because, I mean, that was done at a tattoo shop. Yeah. And, like, I like the cat with that. Like, the first they one. They good, like, yeah. They did good on that. But then this would have been – I would have been okay with this if it was if it never – the God, scar God. tissue. Because now, if you guys don't know, once you have scar tissue, you can't tattoo over that again. It's, like, it's scar tissue. Like, it's not your skin <laughs> anymore. Tissue. Like, it's, like, it's bad. I feel like that would be, like, my worst fear yeah. with tattoos is, like – 
hating it after or like it messing up very hating badly it, it's fine because you can always fix it you can always get it removed or cover it up yeah but like i've seen a few friends and their cover-ups and some cover-ups it's like you have to go very far to cover it up what do you mean like we have had a friend who like the whole blackout over covering up something like that's like well, too much they chose to do that yeah i guess you know they yeah. could have, they could have, that was a stick and poke, so they could have just gotten it removed with not a lot of sessions, because it was, like, But doesn't your skin light. look different after? No, so, like, after, I've, I've went into deep research of this, because I, debating it. Because I've been planning on it, so, <laughs> and you know what? My dad never wanted me to get tattoos, and he said that he would pay for them to be removed, so. He I means will, all of them, Brie, not just care. one singular one. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Well, you're gonna get them all removed just to get that one off? I should have asked for that for my birthday, like, I, but the thing is, you can't, you don't just do it and get done getting removed. No, sessions. It's multiple, like, yeah, the one months. I have is gonna take, by the end of a year, like, I think it would oh, take up to a year. it's blackout in a portion, so it's yeah. gonna take a while. But, I'm sure she was a beginner, I'm sure it was cheap ink, and so I'm sure it will be easier Easy. to get um rid of because like the cheaper the product i mean like but, i don't know or i don't know how they don't think i don't know how deep they went i don't know and then you can tattoo again over that kind of skin once it's had like it doesn't change your skin no i, I mean once it's healed it yeah. heals i don't know i would feel it nervous crazy, for some reason and then it, and then it goes like away. i would feel nervous i would I go to a professional a tattoo, salon and then like i would go to obvious a to get your, your, your friend do it <laughs> when she's learning Brie? jeez <laughs> No, just let people trial and error all over you. I'm just so pissed. And like everyone's little character looked like shit that night. At least you guys have magic ones to remember. I should have never even. They're cool people. I'm it's s- nothing against them, but I should have never paid them 50 bucks for it. No, but honestly, I'm surprised any any one of our friends saw yours and was like, I'll go next. I think they were like, you know what? Because we're already we here. Yeah, we're already here. How pissed would you have been if they backed out? Would you be pissed? I think like I wouldn't be pissed because I'd be like at that point I w- I wouldn't be I pissed because I would have thrown a fit. Yeah, I would have thrown a fit. I would have been like, no, not at them. But oh I, yeah, I would have like been don't like, put something on your body if you really don't want it. Like, no, it, I would have like not given. I not. I wouldn't have paid for it. I wouldn't have. I would have been like. You would have made a bigger yeah. deal that it looks bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They probably did do it. Also, like, our oh, friend got, got another tattoo that night of their cat's paw print, and she swears it's it looks so good. It doesn't look good. Sorry, Krita. Sorry, Krita. Sorry, Krita. It looks blown out. It's it looks the thing blown is, out. and it's not. It's it not obviously not. It's the tattoo artist's fault. Like it's just like but I. I wouldn't have gotten another tattoo from them. Like Karina, I just sweet girl. But you know, it was cheap. It was cheap. It was cheap. And we were supporting our friend, but, like, this is what happens when you're too nice. Yeah, like, support your friends in other things, but, like, not when it's, like, permanent stuff on your body. Yeah, like, I'm all about, like, you can cut my hair. Practice. Go off. <laughs> you can go to town on my hair. I would not care. But, like, permanent changes about, like, yeah, practicing? No. no come back real. when you're licensed. When you're fully certified. No, like, come back. The thing is, and, like, I was looking at their, uh, like, what they did on other people, and it was good, but I guess because they were doing, like, they were good with, um, like, uh, typography, like, type, like, texts. Oh, Like, the, words okay. and names and, They like, weren't big in drawing. Very, like, cursive, like, I guess. Oh, you like, guys gave were, them something way out of their comfort zone. That's on you guys. You guys it was look- in their sketch. They posted. I said, I swiped up. I said, I want this. Oh, they... They had that on their sketch? Their sketches. Oh. I, I, they're in their sketches, it looked good. No, you're going to have to upload pictures of all the tattoos we talked about. But. No, yeah. <laughs> like, you know when you, like, okay, if you have a tattoo, but you know when you get one and you're, like, and, like, after you have it, you're going home, it's, like, such a good feel, like, I got a new tattoo and if it's you so show good. It off. I left sad, depressed, <laughs> angry. It's stuck on my body. I'm $50 less. <laughs> Like it was, it was not a good feeling at all. And it's also the fact that it's just like, it's on your body. So it's, it's at, like, it's, like the worst that not, part. It, yeah, it's not a, like this is like a, it's not a part of my body where it's like, you want a good tattoo. Oh, we make mistakes. We live and we learn. It's okay. I, sh- I soon I'll have sleeves. Like I just don't have the money right now. I would have been had it. I'm like trying to imagine you with sleeves. Half sleeves. I would do half sleeves. Are you doing, like, sleeve in the sense I'm thinking or just, like, scattered things? Or, like, No, I don't full, want it scattered. Like, I full want, sleeve I covered want, like, up. I want, a bunch like, of tattoos here. Like, yeah. fully covered. I think I want a big piece. I'm definitely getting, um, 
a piece on my whole side too. Cherry blossom. Yeah, cherry blossom tree. See, that was gonna be my next big piece. Like next time I get a tattoo. But, but then I got this shit, and now I have to worry about that first. I need to cover this up before I get anything good. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, this is literally the, like, red flag story to all parents. We're like, see, kids don't get a tattoo. This is, no, my my dad was right. My dad was right, because I ruined my body. The thing is... No, but I like my others, but it's still... It's, it's always just about being safe with it, going to the right people, and, like... I got too out of control at one point. She got too comfortable <laughs> at one point. I was like, she just trusted fuck everybody. It. She's like, it's my body. It's Do whatever body. you want. <laughs> <laughs> that's wild. And it obviously, is. that's wrong. That's wrong. It's not good. It's awful not mentality. Good. Don't think like that. Yeah. Don't do that. In most cases. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Bro, I love going through like my photo gallery because it'll just remind me yeah you were going through it for, i was I going was i was going say. through it for the whole time you were playing hello kitty island <laughs> that whole time i saw so back in florida we mentioned my my infamous car with its beautiful with its beautiful wrap i remember this day and i was brie was at my house and we were having dinner with my family with my parents as we do as we do that's all we did and <laughs> And then we got a we got a knock at the door, and the thing is, I don't know why at our house that it was so out of the blue. Oh my! No gosh. one knocks at our door. I'm so happy I was there that day. No, I'm happy you were because I was losing my mind. So we get a knock at the door. My dad goes to answer, and I just hear a woman's voice talking to him, and we're kind of peeking, but we're kind of just still eating, not it's paying attention. Night time. Yeah, it's, sun it's is like, down. Yeah, it's like eight p.m. No one's knocking at our door, really. So she's basically kind of crying-ish and kind of saying, like, frantic. I'm so sorry, like, frantic, telling my dad, like, I'm so sorry, like, I hit the car, I hit the car, and I'm just, that's what I stand up. I was like, hit hey, whose car? No, you almost hit fell out the chair. whose car? Just... Because, okay, this is how I parked that day when I came in. I think it's because I was going to take Brie home later, so I didn't park inside the driveway. I parked by our mailbox, like, still... Still fully, still in grass. fully like, in the yeah, grass, yeah. in the gravel. I'm not on the road at all. Like there's a few inches even, so you kind of had to swerve to touch my car. She's coming out saying like I'm so sorry, the car was out. Like I kind of tapped it a bit. The fact that she went home, parked her car, and walked over. I'm surprised we didn't hear anything. I'm surprised we didn't hear my car get hit. Oh, to be yeah. honest, she ripped that she- shit up. We're going to insert a picture. <laughs> My whole back, bu- like, bumper was off. <laughs> Fully off and, and also, scraped. keep in mind, she had sticker on her car. Uh, yeah, my so, car like, was you wrapped. you have to get that to, redone. Yeah, I had to get both of them fixed. And, no, oh, because there was a point where I was driving around, and I didn't have my sticker around my, just the trunk of my car, the bottom part. And it was fine. Like, I didn't care, honestly, for a while. But... That wasn't what pissed me off. It was the fact that she also didn't want to pay for it or take accountability. Like, she was putting up a fight. She was like, you can't call the cops. Yeah. She, first of all, she said, you can't call the cops. So we already didn't do that. Which First of all, we should have called the cops. And even my parents said that but later. you want to know what it is? Okay. She definitely had, like... No, She wasn't allowed it. to be driving. She definitely had some type of, like, like disability and... I think she didn't want to call because I don't think she was allowed to drive. I don't it think was, she, had she a wasn't allowed to drive. No, she I don't didn't. think she was. But like, Which why is, even, is that my fault? Like, no, why are literally. We like, why literally. are we being the good people? And like, I just get screwed because. No, because then she, the way she handled it later too. She did not want to pay for my car after we got it fixed. Like she was. She, oh, she which is why fighting. you end up calling she was fighting with yeah. me for so long at the point where i was like i'm going to call the cops at this point and i think she knew that realistically the you car was fixed anymore. the yeah. car was fixed at that point no, like she we, played the game she played the game and we were nice and played into her little trap and that was just the beginning of the next three four months just being my worst luck because i just kept getting into problems with my car no, it's like, you know when you, like, hit a bone in your body and then it's like you always hit that same spot afterwards? Or you just constantly get worse in your body, like, everywhere yeah. and just start shutting down? Oh. That's what it was giving. <laughs> That's what it was giving. Because the next time I was leaving Bree's house and I, I, I always preach this, I say it all the time, I yell at my parents, 
don't be on your phone when you're driving. I say it all the time because it's so quick. Yeah. It's never, so yeah, actually yeah, quick. Yeah. So I usually don't, but I don't know why. I think, it, I know it was you and one of our other friends blowing up a group chat. Oh, it's my fault. I'm not saying it's it was my fault. your fault. But it's also funny because I never answer group chats. So the one time I did, everything went bad. I'm sitting at this light, and the car in front of me. <laughs> this is why she never responds <laughs> this to don't... us. <laughs> this is really what it is. I don't. I'm traumatized, actually. So I'm at the light, and the light was red. It's one. It's the. It's by the our um by the city I hall. Know, so I know. yeah, it's a long light. So I'm answering back some texts. I'm just doing my thing. <laughs> just, doing... just being a girl. Just doing what girls do, guys. So the light turns green. I assume the cars are going to start moving soon, but <laughs> but who knows? I'm three cars like in the lane, so I'm still kind of looking at my phone. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'll admit when I'm wrong, but then the cars start going, so I start going, I did not see the car in front of me. Brake check me. He did. I, I didn't. I started braking too late. Hit him. A child exits. The driver's Switches seat. Switches seats. And the father exits the passenger seat. <laughs> the father starts yelling at me while the child switches in to the passenger seat. He's trying to distract me. Trying you. to distract me. That's why he was yelling at me. And the thing is, my frantic self, because I actually hit them, yeah. I'm already, like, I'm already, like, you can yell at me and I'm going to start crying. Like, I'm already at that point. Ew, like, I already yelling? made a mistake. So he's yelling at me. I'm trying to, like, and it's just a, it's get my like, bearings. Did you even damage their car? There was nothing wrong to There's, either one of so our cars. What's the issue? There was only damage to my car a little bit. His car oh was fine. Oh my gosh. His car was actually fine. There was nothing wrong with it. No, no, no. Because they tried to come back and say he was in a neck brace, the father, after that accident. Yeah. They right. were dragging it so That's hard wild. that he was injured in Ew. this accident. After, like, bro, I first of all, you were yelling that at me. Do that. Like, you're in the wrong and you're really trying to push it. Right. You had your kid driving, and the fact that you switched so quick makes me think didn't have his permit. Right. So we could have handled it so quickly, and like you could have said, it, I would have probably paid for whatever damages. You want to call the cops? You want to do all this and it that? It didn't have to be anything. They could have went about their day because there was no damage. But yeah. I mean, whatever. It's no, because like... the minute someone gets hit, they love to play victim. Yeah. They love to play down and like, oh, I'm hurt And you now. would do it too for a check. I would too. <laughs> I tried and I got nothing. Remember when my car got hit when Joffrey was driving? My brother was driving one time. And thankfully he was driving because I wouldn't have known what to do in that situation. Uh -huh. the, like we were in one lane oh, and the ca me. this guy behind my brother was like riding his bumper. And my brother was trying to get away from him and like swerving lanes, how guys do. And... This guy, like, fully, like, rams into the back yeah. of my car, like, aggressively. And my brother quickly puts his foot on the gas. I would have put my foot on the brake, which most people mm. would do. Just instinct, mm -hmm. like, you hit the brake when someone hits you. Mm -hmm. But that makes it worse. Yeah. Because that guy wasn't, like, he was fully trying to hit us. So, like, like my brother Jeez. hitting the gas was driving away and, like, yeah. got out of it. But my brother tried to chase him. So he hit the highway and dipped. Oh. The guy dipped off to the highway. He dipped? Oh yeah, like my brother was chasing did him you for get a while. His license plate? We did, and we called the like we called the police. And I remember the police met us in like a little Walgreens parking lot, and they were questioning us more like we did something. Ew. Like I still felt nervous because I felt like we were in trouble, even though we were the victims. I hate I hate, I hate Florida cops. They're so gross, and they always make you feel the like people you did something. too. The people. Oh yeah, too. yeah. But no, because my last accident was my final straw. I was about to <laughs> give up my car at that point. It's because we, I was at work and I left on my break to go get um, a smoothie down the street. Like literally in the same intersection. I should have walked, but it would have taken too much time. It would have taken me too much time. So I took my car down. I had placed an order. I was supposed to be in and out, guys. Like I was supposed to be in and out. <laughs> and it's, um, it's like a, it's a parking lot and there's just one lane. Sorry, one set of parked cars and one set of parked cars and then like a little sliver to go back and forth through but like technically two cars can fit but it's kind of cramped no it's a cramped it's a cramped spot but two cars can technically yeah. fit because i've seen yeah. two cars go yeah. back and forth down it but it's definitely how it goes. yeah it's cramped so i put my i was heading in reverse and i have my little camera 
The person behind me, I guess, was also in reverse. I didn't know. I hear them honking at me. But as they're honking at me, we're already hitting. Like, it was already happening, and, like, they were honking a second before, and then I'm already reversing, and then they hit me. Like, our cars touch. But, like, it was not a hit. I'm sorry. Our cars touched. They kissed. They it was, kissed. They kissed. Because there was not a scratch on hers, not a scratch on mine. They kissed. Was she upset? The thing is, at first, she was very old. Very, very old. Very, very old. Very old woman. So I think she was more just, like, stressed and yeah. taken it back. But she wasn't angry at me. She wasn't. Like, she calmed down. She did call the cops, like, and things I was explaining to her. I'm like, I'm at work right now. I'm on my break. Would you mind driving down with me? Like, because I need to tell my manager yeah. what's going Like, that I need to take a minute to deal with this. I'm like, please. And she came down with me. The cop came in. And no, it was so funny because <laughs> I went back to serving customers when I went in after this. And the lady was out there waiting for the cop to show up. So I went back into scooping ice cream. <laughs> Jeez. Like, I didn't just I could commit a crime. I no, just like... And then the cop walks in, and our other employee friend goes to deal with the cop because she thinks that she's just coming in for ice cream. But he goes, no, 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 no. <laughs> and points at me. <laughs> and I was, she like, was probably like... I'm helping a customer, too. So, like, this customer's like, what did this girl just like, do? Hey, can you take like, care of this? Excuse me. Girl. So I go out there and deal with the cop, and he was like... She she's fine and not press charges. Like there's nothing wrong with your car. Nothing wrong with hers. Like he just wanted to know what, in my opinion, happened. And I was like, but in my head, she saw me backing up. I didn't see her. Like I truthfully did not see her. So if she she's saw old. me, she's yeah, old. but like Come she honked. She could have stopped her car. Yeah, she could. Like, she could have just stopped her car. Like stop moving if you see the person. She probably did stop moving, but was already out a little bit, and you just kept going and said, <laughs> you know, just a little kiss. <laughs> No, because at that point, I just didn't want to drive anymore. I was like, just take my car away from me, please. Because I'm stressed. Do whatever you want. Like, I'm just doing whatever you want to be. Like, I'm so stressed. No, because remember when I got pulled over leaving the mall that one day with you? You were, like, shaking. No, because it's okay. We had just left the mall parking lot, and I was like, what could I have done? Like what I kind of friend in the done in that- He loves white men. <laughs> he, he was like, he was like that cop was hot, and I was he, like, he, I, he, that's like, all he was please. thinking about. He was I'm like, I want as that I'm cop. shaking, worried this cop is gonna freaking arrest me at this point <laughs> because no, because I had my speeding ticket, I had my other speed. Like I was in a very bad time with my car. Yeah, I was yeah. getting into a lot of trouble with that car. Yeah. So once the cop like he followed me out of the mall parking lot. Followed us down the street for a good, like, <laughs> that's the thing. stoplights. Florida cops will do that. They'll but follow the is, you. He let you go. And I remember afterwards, because uh, yeah. you, you were so nervous, you didn't even want to go into the store. Because no, I, went, my whole mood was ruined. But it was okay. Nothing was wrong. Everything is wrong. <laughs> Everything is wrong with the system. Because why did he, okay, first of all, he pulled me over because in the mall parking lot, I did not come to a full, complete stop oh, yeah. for the three seconds. And we were in a different city, too, we were, so we yeah. didn't know what it was like. No, that's a law everywhere, Bree. When you come to a stop no, no, sign, No, 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 I mean the, the type of police. Like, oh, yeah. I Yeah, well, yeah. The thing is, he could have pulled me over in that parking lot. He could have pulled me over the minute I got out. Followed. He, he followed, followed us for so long. Yeah. And it's like, at that point, bro, I see you. And the thing is, that's the, that's why we I'm were scared. Because we were scared for a while because he was just behind us. Yeah. And then until we got, to, I was on a turning lane and that's when he, whoop the whoop. God, that is the worst feeling when a cop is behind you in the lights and, we're, and you're and just it's like, like, you know, you're about, like, they're about you to. You know, you're about, you know, you're about like, to get pulled over. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, because there'll be times that I'm like, I, like, remember when we were driving with my parents, like, this last time when we were in Florida and my mom was like, the cop. <laughs> okay, so we were driving oh back. Oh my gosh, yeah. We were driving back was, down from I Jacksonville. Thought we, were gonna get over. we were driving back down from Jacksonville to Orlando. <laughs> there was two cops, bro, that night that I thought I was going to get stopped. You were just speeding. I wasn't like, speeding. Oh, I didn't even see them. I wasn't speeding, though, were, for but... real. I wasn't speeding. The speed limit was 70, 70 or 75, honestly. 70, you're 70. Going 80. I was going 80. Florida, that's nothing in the left lane. I'm sorry, that's nothing in the left it's lane. It's nothing, but can cops pull you over for that? Obviously, they can pull you over for two above the, oh. if they wanted to, if they wanted to. But Florida's big on, there's a grace limit of like yeah, 10. 10. Yeah, I There's know. a grace I limit of that. 10. Once you're past 10, 
they might pull you over just to be like yeah but also if it's a busy time of day this was 10 at night Mm -hmm. like it's very empty on the road like it wasn't a lot of traffic where i was like and i wasn't like changing lanes back and forth i was speeding down on like i was going 80 in the left lane basically the whole time yeah so it's not like i'm interchanging lanes like that's when i feel like a cop is really gonna like pull you over because it's like you're doing too much i'm cruising in the left lane (laughs) There was also a cop on the meeting on the left lane. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't see him till I was right next to him. She and, said hi. And I immediately like take my foot, drop it to like Which 70, is like more which sus. Which is more though. sus. Like I feel like you gotta like slow. He didn't pull me over though. No. But there was another cop down. I don't know if you saw when I was driving. No, I he came up. He there was someone I was driving actually quite fast. I was speeding to get <laughs> past everyone just so I could be by myself. And then a car came up, and I'm in the left lane, and he's coming up fast behind me. So I, um, like what most people do, you move into the right lane, let the car pass. I let it pass, and I noticed it was a cop. <laughs> and I was like, oh. So then I go behind him. Because I'm like you, f- like, you do feel safer when you're driving behind a cop. <laughs> like, you feel like you're, like. Oh, my God. Like, no, you my do. God. You do. I felt yeah. great. I was like, okay, I'm fine. Like, I can literally do anything back here as long as I don't go past him. Yeah. I'm going f- slower than he is. Yeah. Like they could pull you over for going slower too, though. No, but like he was actually going way above eighty because I was still pushing eighty and I was not touching okay. him. Like he was going faster yeah. than me. I uh, yeah. Cops Scary. in Florida are. Like, I remember your dad. Gross. Your dad drives pretty wild. I remember we were going to the beach and he like, <laughs> we were like at a complete stop and he starts like turning the car and cut off this cop. <laughs> and I was I remember just looking at you in the backseat. I was like. I just like I would have avoided that because we had to make that turn, but it, so no, it's like the cop stopped, the like cop, gave him space, and basically like, like let him go. My anxiety, I would have avoided that at all costs, at all costs, and just I would have kept going in the U turn. Oh yeah, the end. like yeah, <laughs> I would have hopped on the highway like, and had to come back so all the way like, around. It was so. Oh, weird. I would not have been smooth with. It. I remember we said that we were like, yeah, no, 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 not with a cop there. No. Sorry, I would. Feel like scared. I'm doing something illegal, even scared. though that's totally exactly allowed. no. That's what it feels like whenever a cop's around. It's like okay, like I'm getting trap. arrested. It's a trap. Like it's he wants tra- me to do it so he can pull I me mean, over. As we should feel, because like, cops do be. <laughs> They're always out to get you. Yeah, they They're are. They're always out to get they you. They are, especially in Florida. I'm scary. No, because that reminds me. Speaking of cops, Florida cops. Yeah, that one night. I don't know what I was going going on through my head, but a diet. You had a shift, mm-hmm. and I was like. I hung out with the, like, it was this group of, like, at the time we were teens, we were kids, and it, um, I didn't know any of them. Like, this is my first time meeting them all. <laughs> Did you know someone? No. I didn't know one person there. How'd you I, find these people? I was with a cousin earlier that day, oh. and the cousin, but they didn't, I ended up going out with their friends. Instead, I okay. didn't, okay. instead of, like, yeah, they were hanging out with other people at a house. But I mean, also, like, they weren't bad people. Like, it just was bad luck, honestly. Yeah. So we drive out. We go pick up this one person, and then we come back. Basically, we stopped, and, like, there was, like, one of the kids lived in this neighborhood. And and it was, like, at least seven of us. Like, seven to ten people. So mm-hmm. I don't – like, it was a huge group. And honestly, like, it, which also makes me feel more comfortable because it's, like, it's a big group of people. Yeah. Like, you know. And – one of them lived in or two of them they were siblings they lived in this neighborhood and it was like a gated community kind of mm-hmm. but it no not really it was just like one of those big communities you know when you drive in and there's multiple communities inside that yeah, long yeah, road yeah, yeah, it was yeah. like one of those okay and so they lived in one of those and there was a park and we're all chilling at the park and literally just bullshitting like not doing anything and um we see a cop car come and like we're are, it's like a parking lot in the park and they pulled in and we were like oh god because like it's we're the only ones there yeah. and it's nighttime but like obviously no one's like thinking anything because like no one's doing you anything. always feel more confident when you're not doing when anything. You're, yeah so you feel like, more confident when you're not doing anything and like i think that's why like i started fucking and like you so, talk back more when you're not oh, doing anything oh my god it was so bad so he comes in big white man <laughs> like if you can picture it if you can picture a pig (laughs) then that's what it was but basically he comes in already off the bat yelling at us and he was like what are you guys doing like 
I could smell you guys from a mile away. Like, da 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 da. Apparently, in his car down the street, he smelled us. He smelled marijuana. Oh. And I'm <laughs> obviously my cocky ass. I got no marijuana with me. Nobody does. Like, uh, nobody was doing anything genuinely. And I'm like, obviously, we're all like, uh, no, like, no. At first, we're just like calm and like, no, sir, like that's not us and then like and and we like kind of like just got there too and like he like has his flashlight and i hear these dogs barking in the back of his car and like he has his flashlight out and he's like showing like the air and he's like you see that that's like smoke like da 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 da. the only thing i have on me is a vape (laughs) nicotine it's nothing okay i'm like you can't get arrested for that i don't know so he makes us all like line up and he's yelling at us it's a hot florida summer night one by one like was patting us down and i'm like have my hands on this like freaking playground equipment i'm like you're disgusting literally just going up and then i mean as i should like fuck him and so then and also like i was just angry because he was wholeheartedly positive like he didn't give us like like any like doubt like that like we had something and we were doing something bad threatening us saying that we buried it in the playground like like what excuse me and then so basically why would you bury it he passed us down and then he brings his dogs out he had us sit somewhere and put all of our bags somewhere and he was sniffing the dogs was sniffing the um the bags and of course he comes back and first of all, also, somebody, like, like people are recording, obviously. Hello, it's the police, and they're threatening us. Honestly, everyone was, like, terrified, like, deep down. Like, I was shaking as I was angry. Yeah. He was like, you can't record me. You can't record me because I have my dog with me. You can you can record me, but you can't record my dog. And But he's keeping his dog, like, next to him. So it's like, I don't even know if that's true. That's not true. I don't know if that's true. That is not true. What did the... No. Oh, dog rights? I'm sorry. Yeah, like, no. what do you mean? Yeah, like, he started the whole spiel. He started the whole spiel has to consent to these fr- like no literally like, like you're what? saying that because you know you're in the wrong right now and you could hurt any of us and do anything that's wrong and it's also just an unlawful search you can't search your stuff when there's no it like oh so so can't. yeah so of course he goes ding 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 whose bag is this and i had red hair at the time he goes miss red hair like da 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 is this your bag it was my bag apparently the dog sniffed something out of my bag i don't have anything and so but what i do have is packets and like dead vapes just vapes Uh, like like you know what i mean and lip gloss and just tissues i don't know girly things things. and he brings the bag over to me it's hot he's like oh oh my god i just remember his like just like his like breathing loudly and he's sweating and he has his flashlight. Like, it's pitch black. It's just his flashlight, bro. And his car lights just shining on us. That's all it was. Yeah, no. He's dripping sweat all up in my bag. Nasty juices. Pig juices. Disgusting. And then he obviously finds nothing. I'm giving him attitude. He threatens me that I'm going to... That he's going to arrest me because I have attitude. He's going to take my picture tonight. Da, 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 da. All because I have attitude. First of all, you cannot do that. He's literally just... He was so rude. Like, I, it was honestly so scary the way he yelled at us. I feel us. like he's embarrassed because there's he nothing. just made such a big deal and all these accusations but and I there's nothing like there. But I feel like he had to know that there was nothing. I think he was just hoping to find something that night. Cause exactly. I'm sorry. You just, I don't know. It was at so strange. It, like, it was so strange. And then, yeah. Yeah. And then he, like, threatens me that, um, that because I had uh, a vape. That, that I could that he could arrest me for vaping um, around people that are not old enough to vape yet. Yeah, it was it was all bullshit. It was all bullshit. And it was really scary though. And then I texted you, I was like, Yeah, Hadaya, Hadaya, I got in trouble. Can you please can you please pick me up? Cause I don't drive guys. I don't have a license. I never I, I, I was still the don't. chauffeur, so I, I got that text. Yeah. I remember that. I remember that. No, cause Bri- no, cause I remember how you said it. You were just like and I, the cops were just here. Can you come pick? I mean, I was like, what? And I was in the neighbor. I was like in a neighborhood like behind you too. So I was like, please come. Please come. <laughs> <laughs> no, because Florida cops will do the most for nothing. Because they're bored. Actually, because they're bored. They'll come at you when you're not doing anything. No, because you know how you're describing like the sweat flying at you and like him just breathing. Yeah. You know how you like you'll remember 
very triggering like moments of like someone like either spitting on you or like Mm -hmm. so i have this memory and i will remember (laughs) this forever ever 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 it was when i was playing soccer when i was very young and the coach at the time, first of all, favored his daughters on the team. So they always played. As they always do. As they always do. They were the stars. Whatever. I remember this very clearly. He was standing close. We were going over plays or something. He was telling me what to do. And my hand is out like this. And he spits, bro. And it lands on my <laughs> freaking hand. And you see it? And it's brownish, beigeish color. Ew. Like... And it smells like straight up hot dogs. <gasps> ew. 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 Please, yes. Thank you. Because I remember just seeing that on my hand and just being like, why is it brown? Why is it brown? And then my hand just smelling like hot dog and I could just like smell did it. Did he notice that no. he did it? No, he didn't notice because I feel like men like that never notice. That's actually, I'm going to throw up thinking about that. That's actually disgusting. Smells like hot dogs. Ew. I'll always remember. Ew, I'll never yeah, forget it. So I'll never gross. forget it. I'll never forget it. Remember when like teachers used to like lick their fingers and pass out the papers? They'd lick Why are you it. doing and that? I remember like I would look at my paper and there's just this wet spit mark like fingerprint on like, like the top of my paper. Teachers started COVID at this point. Like <laughs> freaking well, out. Well, why was that? They'd be like, let me get you a piece of paper, honey. No, literally. Grab- I literally like, Can I have a new one? Because I always pick? an old lady. No, every time they just be All licking those their gross fingers. subs. They just, just like yes, it was so bad. I don't know no. why I always, I think about that often. Teachers like why was that? Like I mean, have, I get why. I guess to help pick up the paper. I but like, guess. bro, what? This I was passed pre-COVID time. No, because I remember passing out papers for the teachers. I didn't need to lick the paper no. to help me <laughs> out. Like. <laughs> So Maybe it's with age. I had this kid in our class, and he I remember he was a new student, and he was so obsessed with me. But, like, I always wondered, like, we were, like, obviously kids. Like, what grade is, okay, it was fifth grade. Fifth grade is, like, 10? 10, 11. 10, 11, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Depending, yeah. <sighs> he was a new kid. He had a strange looking face. I don't know. Um, oh, really? no, 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 listen, listen. He's strange. But it was kind of, sc- he was kind of scary. He, um, like never, um, talked. Like he rarely talked, but he was a bad kid. But like he would, like, like he would, like, fuck around in class. And then, like, you know that movie we watched, Smile? Uh-huh. He would, like, smile like that. That's what I mean about scary. Like, he had a weird no, looking face. Because like, I feel smile. like we've had this conversation before, and I think we've had the same thing where it's, I think I also met this kid at my middle school. Oh my school. god, yes. Remember? Yes, yes. Because we think yes, we yes, talked yes, about this. Yes, yes, Because yes, yes. I think he went to the seventh and eighth grade middle school, that traumatizing period I was talking about. He probably did. Bro, was he like. Did he I like to quack he, at the ducks? Would I he like he make. Did, did he fart he in class, bro? He was a bad kid. Would he fart he in was class? A bad kid. Like, he would actually sit in our classes and fart, and then, like, when everyone would smell it and, like, make a big deal, he was like. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> like, this is the same. Okay, so basically. <laughs> That's so crazy. This that kid, we went to uh, yeah, no, Hadai knows. No, because he definitely transferred schools. I don't know where he. I don't know what happened to him. Like, I want to know what he's doing now. But let me tell the story about what he was. He saw me. And his eye was on me because he was obsessed with me, Hadaya. He literally, I, oh my gosh. It got to a point where like the whole class gossiped and knew about how I will bleep out his name. Let's, okay, let's make out a code name. Um, Duck Boy. Duck Boy. He likes <laughs> ducks. Um, he was obsessed with the ducks. He would follow and chase them around and quack at them. Like, it was weird. It's been my biggest thing that I was never able to talk about it because I was like, I don't know any of the kids I went to middle school with to, like, talk about kids in middle school. So I'm really glad that he went oh to your school God. first because I met him two years later. Yeah. This was fifth grade. Yeah. I was, like, seventh or eighth, yeah. eighth grade he came in. And, like, after fifth grade, I moved out, so I didn't know what where he went. But anyways. He went to my school, babe. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, yeah, so basically, um, at this point, the whole class knew about Duck Boy and Bree. And they, 
I remember one day we were switching my teacher because you know I don't know if you guys did this but like when it was time to like switch seats we would that st- all like be watching the teacher and she would just like look at the desk and like put in there we all be like yes or like oh like you yes, know what I mean like yes. it'd be like and I remember it was my desk she grabs hey a duck voice <laughs> she grabs duck voice and puts it and the whole class went ooh. <laughs> And it was like that in that moment. That's when I realized I'm like, how do you guys know about like it was literally like a thing. He made these faces. He made these faces. It was scary. He would go like he would either do exactly like you're saying that smile or he would go like I can picture what he looks like eyes closed. Like I can close my eyes and picture what he looks like. Oh, for sure. I have a, an image of what The thing is, like. why you said buzz cut and I said like his hair was like that, it's like bull cut because it was growing into that by the probably, time I met him. Probably. So it was like short, short. But like, and the thing is, I have yearbooks. His picture's not in my yearbook. I don't have middle school yearbooks. And I don't know his last name. I've tried. Okay. But anyways, so yeah, he was obsessed with me. And I remember one day on the playground and like this is honestly gross and just, uh, but he was chasing me around the playground trying to squish my breasts. Like he was like, I just remember he was like, booby, booby. And that's all he was saying. And I'm running for my life around this playground <laughs> it's not funny it's, it's not, not funny, funny. It's, it's not funny, not funny. and i remember we had these two these two um guys in my class and i one of them was in my class i don't know about the other but they were twins and they were always really nice kids and they helped me and they blocked they blocked him out from the playground and like i stood behind them and they were like my my Protect. guards my protectors and it was like a whole thing and he was just chasing me and like i didn't know when he was gonna stop and i was like i'm tired of running like it was so uh no because i actually think i remember him doing this to other people at our school probably too. Like, he was still probably. doing this and then another time i remember this other kid in our class and i remember this other kid i i had a crush on but he was like oh so you and duck boy like he was trying to like when you're trying to tell- and no no he was like that kid he was like just like smooth talking like oh yeah yeah and so he was trying to um yeah he was like he really likes you da 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 and and, like he was like he's getting you a ring and i was like what and then like it was like this whole thing and he actually brought a ring in were you mrs duck boy brie no i was scared (laughs) of this kid i was scared and he brought in a ring and apparently it was his mom's ring that he stole he was going to take you to the altar. It was a real He was going to take you to the freaking altar. It was wild. He was going to make her Mrs. Duck Boy. But guys. I'm dead. You. But guys, it got to a point where my teacher found out about these things and how this crazy boy was like, saying. And she, I remember, and I'm like a kid. I'm, you know, I'm innocent. She was called me over and I'm scared that I'm in trouble. Yeah. And she was like, is there anything you need to tell me about you and duck boy da 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 and and then i was like no no like obviously like i'm not saying like i'm scared i'm a kid and she was like (laughs) she was like is there anything sexual that he is saying or doing and like she said that word and i was like so scared i was like no i was like no 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 why would you say that no and i honestly as an adult she probably knew that it was bad but she switched our seats <laughs> but yeah, it was all then, her fault. She should have put y'all together. And then I don't, yeah, like I don't know if he left the school or just the year ended. I I moved, so I didn't see him. Like obviously after that, because I went to a whole different middle school. But well, I feel like he probably switched from middle school because I think I want to say he came to my middle school seventh grade. Okay, so he probably went to the because our middle so school was um like it was basically just a fence separating it. It was not just the kids being mean to him. Teachers didn't like him. <laughs> and the thing is, is our school was like, it, like how I described it in the last podcast, if you watched, like, like it was not a very serious school. So, yeah, the teachers were he talking about it. He was wild. Like, I, I, and so, I, yeah, I think about it often because obviously that's like low-key kind of traumatizing for me at such a oh, young yeah. age. Like, I still remember it vividly to this day. But... I always wonder, because, like, obviously, like, I wonder what people are doing and look like now. Oh, we're I adults. wish I could see him. We're adults. I'm so curious what he looks like now, what he's doing. If he's married with a kid now, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he's married. 
we don't know we never know and i so want to see i, I like i also don't people. see him as the type with like social media or anything no, i don't think he ever had social media i'm, I'm we like, don't know because yeah, but I think obviously we, we know but kids. i think we know but i think he could be in jail right now he could he, it could be anything we don't know we look him up he's in prison i try finding and it's like i don't know his last name like i literally just need his last name I wish yeah. I could honestly see everyone I went to middle school with. I wish we had middle school reunions. Like, I don't want a high school I have reunion. a lot of mutuals on uh, Instagram. With no, it's schools. like, I wish we didn't do high school reunions. I want to see the people in middle school. I want to see how you changed. I know, for real. Because, like, most of those people in high school, that's when they peaked. I don't need to see y'all yeah. later. I want to see middle schoolers. Oh, I would love to. No, I want to see elementary. I don't remember everything. Because I lived in a different city. So when I moved from middle school, most people in my middle school went to my high school. So it's like I watched them. We all grew up together. Ugh, I didn't grow up with those people. So it's different yeah. for me. Bro, there was only one girl. So when I moved out into, from a Muslim school into middle schools, there was one girl from the sixth grade school that also ended up showing up at the other middle school when I transferred. Mm-hmm. She showed up like eighth grade year. That's the thing. There's always a couple people that like. And then like she went to our high school hmm. like during 10th grade year. Like she transferred in again to mm-hmm. the same school I was at. And I was always like, are you following me at this point? Because I did not like her. You didn't like her? It's not that I didn't like her. We had issues together. It was, okay, it's, you know that, you know that like, girl friendship where it's like, you low-key don't like each other and you're low-key talking about each other? I guess. But you're still going to sit with each other? I guess. I don't know. It don't was really. that. But, like, to another level. Like, I was, okay, that middle school really, it changed my whole perspective on the world because i came from a very muslim like yeah it's muslim whole- yeah like it was i really like opened up to different cultures and different like like they were teaching me things they were not always great things but they were teaching <laughs> me things they were they were definitely doing that and i remember this one girl the thing is it was she was talking and i didn't like her because of the fact that she was lying she was so blatantly lying and people were believing it that I was kind of like, ugh, I don't get the hype. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You can't say in middle school that you had a kid two years ago and no one's going to question it. We're in sixth grade. You had okay. a kid in fourth grade? I had people like that in my school too that would always say that they had a they had a baby back home too. And like they were just lying. Yeah, but like she would drag it, Brie. Like she would bring oh. it into conversation. Like she was dragging and it. it. And people believed it. Because she said she could still produce milk and then show people. No, because didn't we talk about this before? Because I had a girl in my I, I went to like camp after school and it was like Camp Renegade, they shut down. They don't exist anymore. But I had this girl, she would lactate. She was lactating. She would show us and be like, see, I can still do it. And I think it's people who think they do these things and then they're like, oh, let me just tell people I had a baby. <laughs> but like, obviously, like sixth graders are going to believe her. But in my mind, I'm like, you had a baby when you were in fourth grade? How? How are your parents? Like, in high school, you should be like, oh, how's the baby? How's your kid? No, because the thing is, when high school came around, she tried to like make those slick comments like we were still back in middle school. And that's what I didn't like. Like, she would try to make slick little comments, like, oh, oh look so you at you. you had classes with her. No. She was dating someone in culinary and would just show up. Oh, yeah. You were always in culinary, so you were stuck seeing her. I didn't eat anything today. Neither have I, really. Before we end this podcast, I have a question. <laughs> what? What would your last meal be? Last meal? Your last meal. Like, honestly, like, let's say it was your last meal. You knew it was your last meal you are ever going to have. That's a really hard question because the thing is you're asking me right now and all my mind is thinking of is birria tacos, but that's because I've been craving them for the I past mean, two days. I mean, that's not a bad last meal. It's not a bad last meal. Like, I would honestly, I would tear that up. But I feel like there's a better answer for me. I think about it all the time and I don't know. I don't know. Like, honestly, I feel like sad but like i would want like honestly, a home-cooked meal for my parents is my okay, last meal that's a good answer like something I they made like I, that's what i would want i think mine would be tacos and tostadas and quesadillas that's like birria tacos just, for the last yeah. meal would hit like it would make me feel like satisfied i don't no, know why. yeah that'd be i feel good, satisfied because i'm always so happy when i oh yeah like meal. i'm never oh that sounds so good right now 
I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten. <laughs> that was the only note I had for this video, guys. Just let's just ask Hadaya that question. <laughs> That's all I had. This is all we really got for tonight. Yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys watched our vlog we uploaded oh, yeah. to our channel. We're going to try to do more vlog style videos. Comment whatever you want. Yeah, like, like comment ideas, what you guys want to see. Let us know your thoughts. We're open to suggestions. Mm -hmm. um, subscribe down below. Everything's linked down in our bios below for our social media, so follow us. Yes. And then, yeah, like, comment. Subscribe. Oh, okay. Hit that note. Okay. okay. Bye. Love you guys. Bye.